Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is a um, is a reading for the sign of Taurus. Um, that being said, it is a general reading so it is not going to uh, resonate with everybody. So please do take what feels good with you, what resonates with you, and just leave the rest aside. If it doesn't feel correct with you, most likely it is not. So just leave that aside. Um, that being said, if you would like to have a private reading, so a reading that is all about you, you, your situation, your questions, your answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it'll be my great pleasure to uh, send you the information on the different types of readings that I can do for you. Also, um, if you do enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It's my way of knowing that you support my channel. It's my only way of knowing. So if you do subscribe, you make me very happy in knowing that you have subscribed and you enjoy my messages. So that being said, enough about me. Let's talk about you. Um, here is the Psychic uh, Terror Oracle spread. And uh, we're going to try and figure out what is going on here. Uh, this is about if either you have broken up already or you're just like in a break and a pause right now in the relationship and there is no contact. We want to know, um, this is what we're looking for here is um, do they still care or uh, how are they feeling? Are they going to reach out? This is what we want to know this kind of, of information here. So we're going to begin here with our first card. And our first card is all about rest and reconsider. So this is about fatigue, it's perseverance, it's strength, and it's recharge. So, you know, sometimes the struggles to create and maintain harmonious and fulfilling relationships just seem like too much work. You put forth your best effort and give more than your share and you find that there are still issues to be dealt with. You're tired and at times you just want to give up. The message of this card is to persevere, okay, to persevere to the relationship. Um, you may have been disappointed or hurt in the past. Know that uh, those sorrows have made you stronger. Even though you um, don't feel like, you know, you don't feel like it right now at this very moment. You don't feel like it. You're not seeing this. But this is a good time uh, to briefly step away from the conflict or issues that are surrounding love. Give yourself some time, some space to relax and replenish your energy. This is continuous effort. It stresses the body and dulls the mind. You need to rest. You need to reconsider your methods. And once you've recharged yourself, you're going to be stronger. You're going to be clear-headed and you're going to be confident. You're going to be ready to move forward once again with new ideas and you're going to be ready to improve the situation. So this is all about resting, reconsidering. It's about um, taking your time, taking time for yourself to analyze the situation and for the partner to do the same. And then we have the card here. This is what you should be doing right now. This is your change of focus. This is disappointment. It's lost. It's shift and it's appreciate. Some disappointment and sadness are inevitable. How you deal with it determines the quality of your life. It may be that you recently experienced a loss, perhaps the end of a friendship or a failed romance. And so um, this is all causing you much, much unhappiness. Now, when relationships don't turn out the way you expect, it's natural to feel upset. It's natural to feel hurt. Okay. However, it is not healthy to remain in that state for too long. When this card appears, it's time to put those sorrows behind you and you need to shift your focus into what is good and what is positive in your life. Appreciate the people who love you and your ability to give love to others. Now, you must take stock, stock of what brings you joy. Taking charge of your own happiness is the key here. Focus on what you have and be thankful for it. And you're going to attract more of the same. This is the ripple effect. If you give out positiveness, positiveness will be coming back to you also. Okay, so you must love yourself. You must appreciate yourself. You must respect yourself before being able to do so with another. And to finish it off over here, we have manifest, which is going to be more of the outcome here. And this is um, this is a time of great power for you. Uh, the manifest card is here to tell you that anything is possible. If you have all the tools at your disposal, 
okay, to create whatever you desire. So it could be a variety of tools that can be put to good use, the ability to love unconditionally, to support, to cherish, to listen, to understand, to forgive, and it continues. You can be whatever it is you want, okay. Um, this is, you know, you t need to take some time to determine what the best tools for you are and what you can do with them, okay. Um, this is about uh, using the tools to manifest your desires. Take some time to be clear on exactly what it is you want okay you have the ability to manifest what you desire now so take a moment so there's total clarity what do you truly need and what do you truly want and is it in your highest good is it in your highest good for the other person okay this is what it's all about okay so this is about using your power to manifest deliberately and with clear intent so what I'm trying to tell you here is you need to take some time to rest. You need to take some time to reconsider. You need to take some time for yourself to see what is going on. You need to change your focus here. You need to take a break right now. You need to change your focus. You need to um, make yourself happy again because you're filled with sadness. You need to change all of that. And once that is all done, you're going to be able to do whatever it is that you want. That being said, um, the partner over here is kind of doing the same thing if you want, okay? The partner... Um, um, is yes uh, they're around yes they are yes they are thinking about you but yes there are many many problems that being said um, over here we talked about changing your focus th thinking about yourself your partner the or the ex-partner is doing the exact same thing they're taking time for themselves what will end up of this that is left to be known. Uh, will you have found the solutions within yourself that will be able to rebuild the relationships? Perhaps the magician has given you all the tools possible. So perhaps if you do modify some points that might have been lacking into the relationship, perhaps a rela relationship can uh, reconciliate. So this is really about taking some time, changing your focus, changing things around and then trying then you can go back and you can try and manifest and see what is going to go on what is going to come upon this so right now no there is no contact yes they do think about you and um, future though it is left to be unknown I think it's going to be up to you depending on what happens over here with your changing of your focus so that being said I do hope that you enjoyed the reading I do hope that it brought you some clarity if you would like to have a personal reading at romancefultarot at gmail.com and um, if you have enjoyed the reading please do um, subscribe to my channel and you'll be getting more news from me soon so have a great day